The man is right behind the San Miguel bench. And San Miguel has to attack. It's a five on four situation. Here's Joe. He attacks. Kick out. Daniel. Daniel defaults to baseline. Kick out. Jonas Villanueva for three. Short. It's just not there. That three point shot. They made one from Don Don a while ago. But since then, they've struggled. They needed that one. A slam dunk off a broken play. But San Miguel will take anything at this point. <laughs> So it's a five-point game in favor of Alaska with 10 minutes remaining here in game one. Ognatan, one-on-one against Washington. They give him space. Ognatan, no go. Washington with a rebound. Here's Villanueva, bounce pass. Dangerous bounce pass. Turnover against San Miguel. Here's Baggio in the open court. Larry for the shed for three. Almost, but not quite. Counter-attack from San Miguel. The ninja is on the move. He goes in. He fires, and he misses, but he will take two. Ever since Diamond Simpson and L.A. Tenorio went to the bench, you can see that San Miguel gaining a little bit more confidence in two ways. One, they're more willing to attack the basket because there's no shot blocker. And the other, Alaska has struggled to maintain the pace that they wanted. Here's a slam dunk. Jay Washington all alone off a broken play. Arya Cook slam dunk here in the fourth quarter. And the man on the line is Joseph Henry Yo. And he gets a split. So, apat ang labang ng Alaska, 68-64. And lots of time remaining here in the fourth and final quarter. Kami po'y nagagalak na makasalo kayo dito sa Game 1. It's a PBA Friday here on Solar TV. Nico Halili kasama si Jason Webb, Patricia Bermuda Season, and Chiggy Shogun Reyes. Meantime, here's Simpson, 17-footer, no go. Rebound, Washington. And San Miguel is threatening to bounce back in this game. The Ninja attacks and scores! Uh, Joseph Yo had his moments where he struggled to actually play within that system of, of San Miguel in, the, in, in today's uh, encounter. But then, open court situation, just like Cyrus Baguio, Joseph Yo will excel in that type of game. And right now, back-to-back -back -back basket for him, really helping the cause of San Miguel. Peter Lugnatan committing the foul, his second personal. And Joseph Hill completes the three-point play. Let me just correct myself. He actually had a free throw, and now he had a basket. And another free throw. <laughs> and now it's just a one-point game. Uh, Alaska holding on to a precarious one-point lead. 68-67. Baggio. Double team. Borboran, six to shoot. Borboran, outside Ponacer. Ponacer to Hugnatan. Hugnatan is fouled. You know, the snapshot of Alaska in this tournament, maybe even for the season, is that winning play against Sinebra, under pressure, under duress, they managed to move that ball around with time winding down, and they found Simpson under the basket, which has just showed immaculate patience. They, and you know, every time Alaska is under pressure, you know, when whether it was against Talk and Texas or now against San Miguel, they go to that comfort zone, they move that ball around, and they still have the patience to look for the best possible shot. And, and you can say maybe when you look at that trade of Willie Miller to Cyrus Baggio, that could be a direct. Uh, result result of that trade because obviously before when they had Willie Miller they always felt that in the end game they gave it to Willie Miller and allowed him to create now they go back to the basics of letting that offense run and eventually hopefully <laughs> they will see a good shot before the 24 yes, seconds the last person who will get the ball will take a good shot and make it here's Yo and Joseph Yo trying to be the man of the moment here para sa San Miguel so, lamang pa rin ang dalawa, ang Alaska. Here's Ponacer, Pugnatan on the cut. But he loses the ball. Olsen Rasella is now part of this game for the first time. Rasella to Siegel. Siegel back to Rasella. How many times have we seen that combination do wonders for the Beermen all through these years? 
11 to shoot. Rasella for three. No go. Borboran with a rebound. But Olsen wanted Danny Siegel to go to the post because there was a mismatch. When Danny wasn't going there, he knew the shot clock was winding down, so he went for the best available look, which, which, which was that three-point shot. And again, Alaska settling into their half-court set. Eight seconds to shoot. Bugnatan against Siegel. Bugnatan attacks. And that's an offensive foul. I mean, that's just veteran anticipation on the part of Danny Siegel. 7 and 40 remaining in the fourth. We'll be back. Alaska on top by... Seven and a half remaining, deep to support and final quarter. And we before anything else, let's go to Patricia. You know, makes look at the San Miguel Beerman bench and you see Alex Cabagnot here, who is in his first finals appearance. He says it's, he's super fortunate to be with great teammates who makes his job easier. Now, if this is Cabagnot's first, this is Olsen's 19th finals appearance. And I asked him if this will be his last. And he said, definitely not. He's looking forward to playing beyond his 40th year, which falls this November. So that would mean at least a conference or a season for Rosella. Back to Nico. Well, that's a gutsy inside attack by the Alaska Aces. They were relentless in that play. And the foul is against Joseph Yu. And this could be the story of this series right here. San Miguel, a team that is not going to give up, especially just trying to fight it out there, using their athletic ability. But then Alaska, also a team that's not going to back down from the challenge that's going to be given out by San Miguel. Seven minutes remaining, this is the fourth and final quarter. Lima, ang kailangan na bulin dito ng San Miguel. They have Rosella, Ildefonso, Washington, Yo, and Arwin Santos. Here's Yo. He's been very active here in the second half. Arwin Santos has struggled offensively in this game. Not been a good game for Arwin Santos. Four points, two out of nine from the field. Yes, he's gotten his rebounds, got ten rebounds, and got and gotten four steals, but then he's that type of guy that you, you still want to see him score so that he gets interested. What were you saying? What were you saying, <laughs> Mr. Webb and Mr. Halili? What were you guys talking about? <laughs> well, here's a guy that nailed a couple of this in their game against b in a critical game. Three-point shot. You know, when you shoot that three-point shot, you're almost shaking your head sometimes because it seems that it's not going to go in. <laughs> So that three-pointer by Arwin Santos, although he did not make the bonus free throw, it will cut down Alaska's lead to two. Seven to two, 70. Now here's Simpson, again, in his comfort zone, but he missed it. And that ball is with Gabe Freeman, who's back in this game. Five fouls and all. Here's Rosella. Rosella to Freeman. Freeman will not take that shot. Goes back to Rosella, 15 to shoot para sa San Miguel. They're down by two. Again, Freeman has that. 17-footer available. Santos, no! There's Washington with the rebound, and we're tied at 72. Well, Jay Washington actually has, a, has had an excellent game. 14 points, 10 rebounds. One of the few locals that has really been consistent for his team. We've crossed the halfway mark of the payoff period. Tabla at 72. Our ninth deadlock of the ball game. Here's Tenorio, extricating, firing, missing. Tenorio got his own miss, an assist, no. Bogdanon is blocked, and Simpson is there. So you can see the difference right there. San Miguel, a guys that are just athletically gifted, supalpal na supalpal, not as big as Alaska, but the guys of Alaska, especially Diamond Simpson, kinukuha yung rebound, nakatayo lang. Here's Yo. And off, Washington ties the game. You know, San Miguel getting better flow in their offense because they've been attacking and kicking out. Joseph Yo, one of those main guys that has been willing to go to the paint and attack that defense of Alaska. Washington with 16 points. 10th deadlock of game one. Under five minutes to go in the fourth. Bola na Tenorio, shot lock down to four. Shot clock down to three. Tenorio passes the ball, and no, not in time.
But not much has been said about the game of all.